RMJ Movie Reviews back again, and I'm coming with a quick movie review of Jurassic World. Um, Jurassic World, I actually enjoy. Uh, I thought it was a fun uh, monster movie. Um, you know, uh, I wasn't very crazy about The Lost World. I am not a fan. I wasn't a fan of it when it came out, and I saw it at the theater because I wanted to see it so bad, and it was a big step down in comparison to Jurassic Park which is a big surprise when that came out. Three, I like. You know, it knows what it is. It's a B-movie with a A production name on it. And on um, this film, uh, Jurassic World is miles better than The Lost World. And it's better than Jurassic Park 3. It's second behind the original, but it's very, very far behind it. Um, I don't think the suspense is quite there like the first film but definitely there's more suspense than the second one and for sure the third one and um the action scenes the action scenes are handled competently you know i'm pretty sure steven spielberg had a tight grasp on the production but um it, it was fun it, it it fit all the requirements you know you a lot of running and screaming and different dinosaurs and it, it, it's a pretty good compliment to the original one. There's a lot of nods in the film to the first one. Um, Chris Pratt definitely is the most likable character in the whole movie. The two things with the teenage boys, that didn't bother me too much. But I can understand why people didn't want to see it in the movie because it kind of takes away. I mean, I think they should have just teamed up two boys with Chris Pratt and the redhead chick. And I think all of them together would have made it a little bit more compelling I think or just take the two boys out and just leave it Chris Pratt in the chick trying to save everybody uh, but I, I think it was fun and, and Chris Pratt I haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy yet I'm kind of late on that but the guy has a lot of charisma uh, I'm down for him to play the new Indiana Jones I, I think he, he's very charismatic Harrison Ford is up there in age now, and it's time to pass the torch. So I'm, I'm all for him playing that role. And um, I think Jurassic World f fulfills the requirements of a brainless, fun uh, summer movie. You know, uh, people who are being hard on it. We all know Jurassic Park was a surprise when it came out. I didn't know what it was. I saw it at a sneak preview screening when it came out. So Jurassic Park was a surprise. It was suspenseful. It was exciting. Uh, it, it was a great film. And we know that anything that comes after it can never top that. But I will say I, I had no expectations coming into this film after the bad taste that the lost world left in my mouth. And although I don't hate Jurassic Park 3 at all, I like it. Uh, it it's just a big step down. So, Jurassic World fulfills what you expect. Um, is it predictable? Yeah, it doesn't have surprises like the first one. But again, it's a fourth movie in a series. How surprising could it be? But it's still fun. Um, I think the kids who are my age when the first film came out, they'll probably be surprised. But for all the rest of us who, who saw the original when it opened up, I mean, there's no surprises for us. Only for the younger kids who this is new to. So I think if you guys just want to have a fun time at the movies, just come in, sit back, and enjoy the ride. Don't pay attention to the characters because Chris, Chris Pratt's the only likable one. Um, just sit back and enjoy the ride. It's fun. Yes, there's lulls in there a little bit. The pace isn't quite as tight, but it, regardless, it's still fun. I recommend you guys just check it for brainless fun. Go check out Jurassic Park World if you just want to have a good time, folks. RMJ Movie Reviews. I'll talk to you soon.